Oh my gosh, this is day 13 of my 21 day writing challenge. Fun fact, I've been recording these videos during the big quarantine of spring of 2020. So it's been a while since I've been around other people. Hence my new friend, Boris. Hi, I got Boris for Christmas last year. He was an itty bitty sprout when I got him, but lately I've had so much time to devote to my houseplants that it's starting to look like the Amazon in here. I'm a little concerned because the other day when I came back from a walk, I caught all my plants watching Little Shop of Horrors on Netflix. I know, I know, plants are not smart enough to work my smart TV. But I am pissed at my dog because I'm pretty sure he's the one that rented it for them. I've been cooped up too long. But the good news is I got an idea for a writing prompt out of it. I can't talk to people in person, but I can talk to anybody I want in my head. So here's the prompt. Put two very different people together for a conversation. And what did they say? They can be living or dead, real or fictional, or a combination of both. It just has to be two people that under any circumstances would never be together normally. Write their conversation, and instead of making them argue, Find common ground no matter how ridiculous it gets. For example, let's say the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland and Martha Stewart have a discussion about what makes an awesome tea party. The Mad Hatter might say, Oh, well, I think it's essential that all of the cups and the spoons get up on the table and dance. And Martha Stewart might reply, Marvelous. I'll just whip up my classic French opera cake complete with LSD-infused marzipan and kaleidoscope cannabis sprinkles. It's a good thing. Or maybe you put together Oprah Winfrey and another Martha. Martha from Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Oprah, everybody gets a car. Martha, great. I'm going to use mine to run over my husband. These are just short examples, but you'll have 20 minutes to expand and embellish your own. Put two unlikely people or characters together in a room and write out their conversation. If it helps, pick two characters with opposing viewpoints and then see if you can bridge their gap with ridiculous situations. Like me and Boris here. We're gonna go play Scrabble, which is not as easy as it sounds because, you know, come on, let's face it. <laughs> Boris is a plant and he cheats.